almost. Not yet. Number 12, can you bend a little? Just a little bending will help, I suppose. To the remaining four at the back, let me know if they would react. Can you say, hey? Nobody followed. You only have 45 seconds to deliver. The final question is, I'll read the question twice. What role do you think transgender in leadership can play in shaping the future? And how would you inspire others to follow in your footsteps? I repeat, what role do you think transgender in leadership can play in shaping the future? And how would you inspire others to follow in your footsteps? I have an advantage because I am a teacher. What role do transgender have? We have a very vital role in leadership because we are multifaceted as individuals. Sometimes we are teachers, doctors, and every single profession, we are present. Therefore, we can always lead the younger generation, not only the LGBT youngsters, but heterosexual straights. Because I always believe that it only takes one LGBT member to mold a new and diverse world, an accepting world where everyone can be sympathize everyone can promote sympathy in others and therefore we can remove apathy or the lack of interests of other people with regards to your own self because I always believe that transgenders will always be very much thank you very much candidate number eight finalist number one remove the headphone of candidate number nine please number nine join me here up front Happy to see you here. Finally, number nine. I asked this question to candidate number eight. And this time it's your turn to deliver what's on your mind. We're almost good. You are representing what city or province? I'm proudly representing General Santos City. General Santos City. Like, for example, it's my first time to travel to your city or province. How should I go there? I mean, mode of transportation. Actually, there is a direct flight, a Bacolod going to Jensan, but usually the flight is Bacolod going to Davao, Davao going to General Santa City via bus. And it's really a good journey if you visit General Santa City. You will going to celebrate the Tuna Festival and the Kalilangan Festival. We have so much to offer, and I believe that our culture what makes us beautiful and different. And I hope you can visit the Jensan. Looking forward. Sooner, this is your question. I'll read it twice for your convenience. What role do you think transgender in leadership can play in shaping the future? And how would you inspire others to follow in your footsteps? And I repeat, what role do you think transgender in leadership can play in shaping the future? And how would you inspire others to follow in your footsteps? I am a transgender teacher. But because of gender bias employment, I decided to do pageantry instead of teaching because I believe that pageantry is also teaching different kinds of people. Showing optimistic attitude and our strength despite of the challenges is what makes us leader. And I believe this is something that I really want to give you, my smile, my authenticity. Because at the end of the day, peace begins with a smile and my smile makes my strength become stronger. Bacolod City, be optimistic. At the end of the day, the world full of trends, but I remain a transgender beauty queen teacher, a timeless and a remarkable one. Good evening. Thank you very much. Finalist number two, candidate number nine. Join us here in front, number 12. I'm just curious, how tall is number 12? I'm actually 5'9 barefoot plus 7 inches hell that makes. <laughs> That's why she's just so tall and statuesque. I'll repeat the question once. I'll read it twice. What role do you think transgender in leadership can play in shaping the future? And how would you inspire others to follow in your footsteps? And I repeat. What role do you think transgender in leadership can play in shaping the future? 
and how would you inspire others to follow in your footsteps? History is the greatest teacher, and to know where you are going, you need to know where you come from. I come from the past of sexual and gender segregation, and where people like me is not treated fairly, that is why I become a diverse representation. I become the first ever nursing student in my time to cross-dress in a medical school campus and even in the healthcare setting. And now I become your humble, professional, transgender registered nurse, because as your mascarina, I would implore us to stand together and embrace the different challenges that we have because we remain resilient. We put big smiles in our faces until we become pearl of action. And we have to celebrate diversity because in our diversity... She is our finalist number three, candidate number 12. Number two is up next, our fourth finalist. Long gown. Gentle reminder. 45 seconds, please. Would you wish to say hello and thank you to your designer? I would like to say thank you not only to my designer, but all the people behind my success, all the people who had helped me all throughout this very beautiful journey, to my Oma, to Earl, to Sebastian Algetro for my gown, and also the organizers of this event, for this event, really succeed tonight. Thank you to our local government for pushing this pageant. And I will surely do my best to make you all proud. Thank you. Number two, the question is kind of lengthy. Kindly listen attentively. What role do you think transgender in leadership can play in shaping the future? And how would you inspire others to follow in your footsteps? And I repeat, what role do you think transgender in leadership can play in shaping the future and how would you inspire others to follow in your footsteps The role that we hold as a transgender woman is being an image of positive change and resiliency. We, the LGBT community, are the most multifaceted individuals in the world. We are a perfect combination of a strength of a man, a strength of a woman combined into one. And here we are, willing to learn, willing to share, willing to love, and above all, willing to sacrifice. And that is something that I want everyone to emulate in my footstep. Because life is not just about celebration, but life is full of meaning. We need to use our existence to inspire and uplift others because we are not only concerned on the LGBT communities happening right now, but the entire country. Always remember, we aim for a progressive country. Thank you very much, candidate number two, finalist number four. And we are down to our last finalist. Do you think transgender in leadership can play in shaping the future? And how would you inspire others to follow in your footsteps? And I repeat, what role do you think transgender in leadership can play in shaping the future? And how would you inspire others to follow in your footsteps? Thank you so much for that question. I believe that we, the members of this community, not just us transgender, our goal is to be accepted by the community, not just to be tolerated. For me, the goal of transgender leadership is an inclusive community where we are not afraid, where we are loved, accepted, and not judged for who we are and what we are. I think that is what very important. For us to excel in our chosen field, we need a support system. And a transgender leadership can definitely bring that to the table. And gentlemen, that concludes the final Q&A. Meanwhile. Fourth runner-up is Mascarena, candidate number 12. Fourth runner-up will receive 15,000 pesos in cash. Sash and Bouquet to be presented by Mr. Red, Celino, and Miss Cheryl Garcia. Congratulations, candidate number 12. And she is Mascarena Palamban Cebu, Miss Maria Hard Napoles.
congratulations, candidate number 12. Thank you so much to our dear presenters. Third runner up. Ladies and gentlemen, our third runner up is Mascarena, candidate number nine. Mascarena number nine is from General Santos City, RP Jean. Our third runner up will receive 2,000 pesos in cash, a stash and bouquet to be presented by Mr. Adrian Prietos and Miss Kate Contecolado Cordova. Congratulations to our third runner-up, candidate number nine from General Santos City, RBG. Let us continue the announcement of winners. This time, the second runner-up. What do you think? <laughs> second runner-up is Mascarena, candidate number... 21! Mascarena 21 is Bacola City, Angelica Tupas. She will receive 30,000 pesos in cash, sash, and bouquet to be presented by the beautiful Miss Kashmir Granada and Miss Carol Villarosa. Once more, congratulations to our second runner-up, candidate number 21 from Bacolod City, Angelica Tupas. runner-up is crucial and vital because in the event that the queen cannot fulfill her duties and obligations, the first runner-up automatically takes over. The number that I'll be calling is the Mascarena 2024, meaning the number that I won't be calling is the first runner-up. Ladies and gentlemen, the Poland City, Negros Occidental, Philippines, Mascarena 2024 is candidate number 2. Our Mascarena 2024 is from Cagayan de Oro City, Ayor John Radis. And our first runner up is Mascarena candidate number 8. Congratulations. Mascarena number eight is from Tarlac, Yang La Victoria. Congratulations to our first runner up. She will receive 50,000 pesos in cash, sash, and bouquet to be presented by Miss Princess Ella Omelia and Elona J. Bonbon. Once more, congratulations to our first runner-up, Mascarena Yang La Victoria from Tarlac. Ladies and gentlemen, Mascarena 2024, candidate number two. Mascarena candidate number two is from Cagayan. Presented by Miss JC Ramos, Macarena 2023, Mr. Carlos Durana, and Miss Evolve. 